Homescapes is a metric game where a science from playing countless boards, trying to clear blocks and complete objectives, you also get to renovate a huge mansion in the process. Every time you clear a stage, you get stars, which are used as currency for both cleaning up as well as for acquiring and placing new furniture and other items in order to proceed with the renovation. The whole gameplay loop in Homescapes is quite simple, and there are a few things that you should know before starting, as they can help you to streamline your gameplay experience. So, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about just that. As soon as you start Homescapes, you'll be introduced to the main protagonist of the game, Austin, a person with tons of experience as a butler that is entrusted with the task of renovating a huge mansion. Luckily, Austin has you, the player, to help him out with collecting the necessary materials to do his job. In the beginning, you'll notice that the house is completely run down and needs quite a lot of help to get back into the tip-top shape. In order to proceed with the renovations, you need to collect stars. This will allow you to clean the house, repair flaws, purchase new furniture, and perform renovations in general. However, the only way to collect these stars is by completing challenging metric puzzles alongside other minigames, which is where you as a player comes in. The vast majority of homescape puzzles consist of metric boards where you must complete specific objectives and through the goals vary by stage, it mostly consists of matching up blocks of the same color to clear the board, which is achieved by creating combinations of empty slots among many other goals. And regardless of the objective, the main gameplay consists of lining up blocks of the same color until you complete the stage. However, there is a turn limit in most stages, and if you don't reach the expected goal before reaching the set limit, you lose and we have to start from the very beginning. Luckily, there's a few tricks that can help you quite a lot on completing these tasks. And they mostly comes in the form of special blocks, that you can create by combining specific blocks in a different manner. So you could complete the early stages by simply combining blocks of three, being able to combine blocks in groups of four or more in different manners we also create power-ups that, when achieved, have different effects to help you to clear even greater amount of blocks across a wide area. And depending on the way you combine these blocks, different special blocks are created. Starting with rockets, they are created by combining four pieces in one line and can be used to clean up an entire column or a row of blocks. Bombs are created by combining five or six pieces in an L or T arrangement. When used, these power-ups blow up and vaporize a large portion of the pieces around them. Paper planes are created when combining four pieces in a square. And while they don't clear many blocks on their own, they are great for taking on important pieces in places that are hard to reach. And finally, rainbow balls are created by combining five pieces in a straight line. When used, this power-up removes all the pieces of a single color from the board. By creating these special power-up blocks, you can clear a large chunk of your board with just a few moves. Just remember that you can also combine power-ups together to unleash even greater effects. Well, when it comes to playing homescapes on the PC, the possibilities of what you can achieve with Bluestacks are endless. And by following the tips I presented on this video, you'll be clearing boards left and right without ever missing a bit. So, if you want to streamline your gameplay experience, being able to play with your keyboard and mouse on your computer large screen, while also having access to a ton of awesome features, make sure to play Homescapes on Bluestacks. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!